copy. 240 negative? Sorry. False alarm on that code red near Magnolia. Try that carpet shop off Post Alley. Thanks, 303. Copy. Dispatch, I need to run a license check on that 10th. Officer Matthews, I've got a 1010 in progress. 1452 Lewis Avenue. I'm gonna need backup. All backup Okay, update time. You heard back from Jen yet? Um, no. I'm sure she'll reply at some point. Let me take a look at the situation. Hey, Jen, you going to the party tonight? Dude, we talked about this. Could you have any less game? <sighs> I'm no good at this. Ooh, how about... Yo, Jen, see you at the party. Let me know if I should bring handcuffs. <laughs> oh my god, you thirsty bitch. Here, let Lila the Love Witch work her magic. Okay, just don't make me sound like a loser. I said matchmaker, not miracle worker. Hey, hold on. Let me check it before you send. Too late. Would be awesome to see you there? What? I could have texted that. It's a good start. She'll text back, you'll see. You know, I don't even know if I want to go tonight. Oh, please. It's gonna be fun. You hate every party. Oh, because they're all the same. Too many people, too fucking loud, everybody's wasted. Yes, Sean, you just described a party. Well, the suspense is killing me. It's Dad, wants to know if I'm coming home after school. <sighs> Jeez, I'm not a 10 year old. He just cares about you, Sean. Anyway, you should be happy your dad's looking out for you. Oh, it's Jen saying she can't wait to see us at the party. What? Really? <laughs> yes. <laughs> Told you I would work my matchmaker magic. Hmm. So, so what should I wear tonight? A condom. Oh, ha ha. Paying plenty of attention in sex ed class, I see. Hey, lovebirds. Back from the loony bin? Shut the fuck up, dickhead. Damn, your neighbor's an asshole. Yep. Always true to himself. Man. 
We need to find a couch for your yard one day. <sighs> Ooh, careful. Last time my dad almost busted me out here. Because you were alone? Your dad wouldn't bust me. He loves me. So... Yeah, okay. It's Friday. Thanks for making me smoke again. Oh, then I'll make sure you don't smoke any weed tonight. Deal? <laughs> Deal. <laughs> Can't wait to see you baked as hell trying to pull this off. Speaking of weed, I got that covered tonight. What else do we need? Eric said his parents don't leave shit at the cabin, so we better make an official party list. Hey, whoa, what the hell are don't you doing? Don't move. You're my human post-it note. First, we need money for supplies, munchies, chips and dip, soda, etc. Uh, this better wash off. And of course, we must not forget the booze. I can probably snag a six-pack from Dad if he's got enough. Hey, did you ever think of maybe just sending a text instead? Hmm. Oh, right. Blankets. It's gonna get so chilly tonight. You and Jen are gonna need something to snuggle under. Oh, one last thing. C-O-N-D-O... Oh, stop. You're out of room, punk. Is this how you see a penis? Damn, you should try and actually see one for real. You don't want to go down that road, dude. My chances of scoring tonight are probably ten times yours. <laughs> you wish. <sighs> These fucking planes, man. I want to hate them, but I'll miss them so much if I move somewhere else. Shit changes so fast. I get so emo sometimes, wondering what will happen to us once we graduate. Will you still be my BFF? Will shit ever get better than 1452 Lame Avenue? Yeah, man. Friends forever. Yeah, but what happens if we go to different colleges? Or you get sick of me? Whatever. Uh, you heard of the internet? <laughs> no way distance can tear us apart. We're freaking fighters. Yeah. You're right. Best freaking fighters forever. Okay, it's getting way late and I gotta pick out my outfit for tonight. Skype me later when you're ready. Hugs. Talk to you soon. Hello, Friday night. Hey, perfect timing. Just the sun I wanted to see. Oh, sure, but I'm a little busy. Did you see Lila? She said we can go to the movies next week. She said- Dude, bug her, not me. You're not exactly her type. You're lucky she puts up with you. Ugh, jeez. Thanks, Pop. I feel really supported right now. You're welcome. And now we need an objective judge. That would be you. <gasps> really? Hey! No fair. Court is in session. Judge Diaz presiding over the case of the last Choco Crisp. I... I have to go, uh, get ready for a party and stuff. So... Well, if you want to attend to a party and stuff, you have to earn it, Your Honor. Oh, shit. Hey, he swore. Yes, I heard Tattletale. Mm. Please, Judge Diaz. Be an example to the court and society. Then you can go hook up or chill or whatever. Now, 
Who deserves to eat this final choco crisp? Your adorable little brother who eats about 10 bags a week, or your poor, suffering father who slaves over a hot engine to provide his family with a home and a garage? Me, me, me. Come on, Judge. Shh, 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 shh. Let him decide. Judge, the verdict, please. You're both guilty of wasting my time. Case closed. What? No fair. Dad, Dad, Dad. What is this? Mm. My own flesh and blood tosses me under the bus. He sucks. Okay, back to work. I hear an engine calling my name. And you better play nice together, like you always do. Yeah, I have to work in my room too. Yeah? Don't hurry back. Don't forget the non-booze. This will work. I don't want to get wasted in front of Jen. Hope there's also, like, real food at this party. Hey, Jen. What's up? Oh, try again, loser. Hey, you look totally hot. Oh my god, stop. Oh. Hey, you wanna... Share my blanket. Hey, Jen. Do you wanna hang out sometime? Not bad. Remember, don't be too thirsty. Dude, come on, open up. Why? Because. Okay, okay. What are you doing in there, Dr. Frankenstein? You ate my choco, Chris. Oh, don't be pissed. You always see the whole box. What's with the sisters? You'll see, but not now. So don't come in. Oh, man. Damn, sounds pretty serious. Should I call an ambulance now before it's too late? Maybe. <laughs> All I can say is watch out for my costume in three days. This Halloween is going to be awesome. Are you going to the party tonight at Eric's house? Will Lila be there? Yes, 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 and no. You can't go. Teenagers only. I bet Lila would let me go. She's way nicer to me than you. <sighs> Did she ask about me? <sighs> I'm sorry, dude. She's cheating on you. Shut up. And I don't even care if I can't go because because I have secret stuff to do, alone. Of course you do. I'm broke, so I better find some cash for tonight. All right, Dad. Where do you put the blankets? Thank God I don't have to take one of Daniel's. I'm sure Dad won't miss one blanket for the night. That you, Choco Thief? Yeah. Yeah. Don't get too excited, kid. You're making me nervous. Hey, since you're creeping around up there, can you pass me the wrench in the top red drawer over there? Sure. Um, there's no wrench here. Ah, uh, shoot. Must be somewhere else then. Take a look around. I know I left it nearby. It's a 16 millimeter reversible flex wrench. <sighs> Jeez. That was definitely my plan for tonight. So, yeah. Hold on. Sam came by the garage today. Are you high for him? How's his leg? Well, you know, old fossils like us don't heal the way you do. Uh, remind me never to get old. Hey, it beats the alternative. Is that it? Hey, yes, that's the one. That was quick. So you did learn something from your old man after all. Yeah, yeah. All right, just let me tighten this. So, 
finally decided to come and join your old man under the hood, huh? <laughs> yeah, um, sure. I know it's not your thing, but you gotta learn a trade. Art, athletics, engineering, I don't care. As long as you put your heart into it. I'm trying. I just don't know what direction to go. You're only 16 years old. You've got time to figure it out. Trust me, it took me a while too. And you happy with it? I mean, your job, living here? Of course I am. We're doing great. Maybe one day when I retire, I'll go back to Mexico, to Puerto Lobos. But until then... Ugh, I've heard this one before. Hmm. I don't even know why I'm fixing you a sweet car for graduation. Well, you don't have to. I mean, it's cool. Are you sure you're my son? You don't want to visit Mexico. Don't want to have a car. I can't even get you into Rush or Santana. Are you going to ride the bus for all your dates? Like I'm going on tons of dates. Not when Daniel's cock blocking me the whole time. He's nine. He doesn't even know what cock blocking is. He looks up to you, Sean. Try and help him. It's what family is for. Things are kind of scary out there in this country right now. Yeah. Oh, um, by the way. Ha. I was wondering how long it'd take. You need money for the party tonight, right? <sighs> ah, 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 ah. Shh. Just be honest with me. No bullshit. Are you using this money to buy alcohol? Weed? Um, I mean... Yeah, probably. But we'll be partying at a house and nobody's driving home. I swear. Well, everybody's got to get home somehow. But yeah, you and Lila better not get in any car with somebody who can't walk straight. Holy shit, 40 bucks? Really? Yeah, why not? You did a good job on the lawn. Plus, I appreciate that you didn't lie to me. Thanks, Dad. Just be careful. That's all I'm asking for, okay? I know what kind of crazy shit kids can get into. When you were my age, did you party a lot? <laughs> Sorry. What happens in Mexico stays in Mexico. Now get out of here before I change my mind about that cash. And keep an eye on Daniel while you're home, would you? All right. Thanks, Dad. Hey, hey, hey. Not so fast, Shawnee boy. Don't you think your papito deserves a hug? Ugh. Okay, have fun, but not too much. I won't. Promise. Bye. Love ya. I love you too, hijo. Lower boy, just give me a minute. Gee, where did I put the... Mm, hold on. <laughs> okay, hi. Did you get everything on your hand list? It's all in my backpack, yeah. Dad hooked me up with some cash, so we're set for the night, in case we need anything else. Or if you and Jen need anything else. Ooh la la. <sighs> okay, serious talk. What are you gonna say to Jen tonight? Well... I don't know, play it cool, talk about the gig last week, get to know her tastes. Oh, oh my god, you did rehearse your moves for tonight. You're totally into her. Duh, why do you think I'm freaking out? She's so super cool. You're super cute. Just be yourself. That's why she's into Sean. you. Sean, I'm done, look. I made zombie blood. It's um, corn syrup and food coloring. Hey. Hi, Lila. Get out of my room, Daniel. I was just... Come on, man. Just the... Just bugging the uh, shit out of me the... again after I told you to knock? Uh, yeah, but... I know. Anyway. Sean, you're an asshole. What's your problem? But... I want to see zombie blood if you don't. <sighs> sorry, sorry. I'll make it up to him. He knows I can be a dick. I'm just stressed out about tonight. No, oh, please. We're gonna have so much fun. 
Maybe tonight's the night. Don't jinx me. Jinx? I'm your lucky charm, bitch. <laughs> okay. So when are you coming over? I just have to hit up the momster for the car keys and hope she doesn't make me lie too much about the party. I'm already in trouble from last time. This time, don't get caught. Let me see that drawing. This might be my masterpiece. Well, yeah. It's my portrait. Ooh, shit. Jen just posted her outfit for tonight. What? On her wall. You should check it up. It might get your attention. Hey, are you listening to me? Um, you know something called multitasking? <laughs> That's a girl thing, no? Whoa, her hair. Whoa, indeed. I told you she was super into you, man. What's her profile picture got to do with me? Huh, you will see. OMG, you gave her an LOL? <laughs> that is a ballsy move. So what? I'm a funny guy. Are you? <sighs> Why is Derek Anderson all over Jen's profile? <sighs> He's an asshole. Better be nice. They're like best friends, stalker. Really? Oh. In that case, I'll spare him. <laughs> Dude, she already likes you. Don't blow Hold on, okay? Something's going on outside. What do you mean? Hey! Look at my shirt, asshole! What's the big deal? It's Halloween! Uh, hey! Don't ever touch my brother! You hear me, Brett? Fuck you, Diaz! He got his fake blood shit all over my shirt! Look! I told you, it was an accident! You better leave us alone! Oh yeah, go hide in your dad's garage! Pussies! You think you own the block? Dude, step back! He didn't mean it. He's a fucking kid. He's a fucking retard. What? What did you just say? You heard me, bitch. Don't ever touch him again. Or what? You gonna get your daddy? Hey, asshole. I don't need him to protect me from you. Oh, you, you wanna go? Oh, yeah, motherfucker? Then go back to your own country. <laughs> Whoa! Sean, you hit him! Get inside now! Sean! You're dead meat, bitch! <sighs> <sighs> You and your whole fucking family are going to jail, losers! Oh, What's going fuck on? Me. Daniel, get over here! Sean! He's hurt! Okay! Okay, step away! Now! Calm down, officer! Shut up! And step back! On the ground! Now! Hey, wait! This guy was he started beating me. up my little Underground. brother. Now, hands behind your Sean. head. This is fucking bullshit. Oh no. Sean, what's Get happening? Sean, Dad, we didn't do Sean, anything. Sean, be quiet. I swear. Dad. Sean, listen. Oh, I'm sorry, Dad. Daddy, be quiet. I want to go home. They're good kids, officer. Don't move. I'm sure they didn't do I anything. Said don't move. We didn't Daniel, do anything. It's gonna be all right. On the ground.
No, man. We can't stop here. We gotta keep going. No pouting, okay? Come on. But... But... My feet really hurt. These shoes suck. And we've been walking for four days. What? Only two. Don't even try that shit. And my back hurts from sleeping under that stupid bridge. Yeah, so does mine. I was there too. Just knock it off. I hate it when you act like this. This is how people camp in the woods. It's not like being being at home or, or in your room. This is a, a real adventure, right? So, come on, let's hit the trail. Seriously. Where's Dad? Daniel, come on. We gotta go. Why isn't Dad with us, Sean? Doesn't he want to go camping too? Yes, but I told you that he can't. I told you, okay? Okay, but I am so sick of walking. I just wish I was back in my room. I know, I know. Hey, at least we don't have to go to school on Monday, right? Yeah. Look, um, everybody's gonna be so stoked when they find out how far you walked. Really? Really? I bet Dad would be too. Do you think we walked, like, maybe a hundred miles? Probably two hundred. Feels like it. Ooh, awesome pause. But next time, Dad better get me a good pair of shoes, like yours. Dude. <laughs> Bigfoot doesn't need good shoes. I'd rather be a wolf. Ow! We could be wolves. Yeah. Yeah, that, that works. Just work on that how. Hey, you know what? Let's see if you can walk the whole way without complaining once. Huh? Uh, like, you don't whine too? I don't whine. I... I... Tag your ass and run! You're it! No way! Not fair! Whatever. Okay. I'm a zombie, and I'm gonna eat you! Blah!
Are we there yet? Dude, stop. You know what? You're not allowed to say that ever again. Yes, sir. You'll be the first one to know when we get there, okay? I'm tired and hungry too. Listen, this looks like a perfect place to camp out. I bet we're not the first people to stay the night. It's creepy. There's nobody out here. We didn't even see any cars. We're gonna camp here. I'll look out for you. Oh, look! Man, it's so dirty. What do you find? Check it out! There's a chunky chocolate crisp bar on the dashboard! Yeah, I see it. You know I love Choco Crisp bars. I haven't had one in a million years. Yeah, right. More like two days ago. Come on. Can we please, please, please get one when we stop next, please? I promise. Yeah! And you can wash it down with a frosty root beer later, okay? But I'm starving. Just don't eat me. Daniel, check out this mark on the tree. What is that? Graffiti? Not exactly. It's called a trailblaze, and people used to put them up to give directions. Like GPS? <laughs> yeah, sure. Just slightly more ancient. Awesome! Let's follow it. Come on, Daniel. The sun is going down. <sighs> okay, dude. Do you have to use the bathroom? No. It smells real bad. No shit. Seriously? You better go now. I don't have to go. Jeez. Can I just pee on a tree? As long as you don't mind the poison ivy on your balls. Uh. Well, maybe I'll go. But don't let me get stuck in there. Don't worry. I'll call the forest plumbers if you fall in. Gross? These are worse than the ones at school. <laughs> Especially after you use it. Sean? Look how big these trees are. Eh, that's only because they need the sun. Besides, they'll protect us from the rain. What if they don't? What if they... Uh, attack us? Hey, you watched Lord of the Rings with Dad like... A hundred times. Here's a chance to go on a real adventure. With... me. Hmm. So I'm like... Frodo? And you're... Sam? Uh... <laughs> well... I was thinking more like... Aragorn. You know... Brave, strong, good looking. <laughs> no way, Jose. You're Sam. Sam. And we have to find a secret cave, so we can hide from the orcs. I'd always knew exactly where to go. He was a living compass. <sighs> okay, okay. Sam I am. Daniel! Come check this out. What? What? Be quiet. He'll take off. Ooh, raccoon! He's so cute. <laughs> That raccoon will tear us apart. Let's go, bro. Here, kitty kitty. Here, kitty kitty. Aw, that raccoon must be starving. What if the raccoon came with us? He could be our pet. Oh, man, raccoons are not a pet. You ever see their claws? Yeah, but this one likes me. Until you run out of food. Let it go, Daniel. <gasps> That's one big tree. Come on. I'll help you climb up. You better not let me go. Would I do that to my little brother? <sighs> let's go. 
Let's go. How come nobody is out here? Huh? It's October. People don't hike as much. So why are we? Because we can. We're badass warriors, dude. Cool. Uh, you see that? Looks like a clicker. Creepy. Uh, yeah. Uh. <laughs> Stop it. What the hell is that? I should have listened in biology class. like a cave. Kind of, kind of spooky. No. Actually, it's kind of perfect. For what? For us, man. We're gonna stay in there? I don't know. Uh, come on, Daniel. Look, this could be our secret base. I bet we could stop any orts from capturing us in here. Cool. In that case, we definitely need to get a fire going first, right? Right! Yes! Uh, so what do we need? I need you to build a fort to keep out orcs, trolls, uh, everything. And I'll take care of finding the wood. Deal? Yes! I can build traps, too. Nothing will get to us. Awesome, dude. I know. <sighs> okay. Let's unpack. Finally. Coming! Here's a good spot. Now this is perfect. putting us in foster care. Hey, this isn't too bad. I guess Daniel can chill a little. Hey, can you give me a hand? Yeah. Yo, what are you doing? I'm trying to move this branch to protect the base. Good call. Here, let me take this side. You got it? We'll see. Go ahead and... Push! We did it! Nothing can get in here now. Damn right. Nice work, Daniel. Cool. I'll go check the river. Sean? Whoa. Nice view. You can see so far. Wait, I'm coming. It's 
beautiful. Pretty amazing, huh? See? It's not so bad here in the forest. Hey, look at those clouds. What do they look like to you? I don't know. Cotton candy? That's it? Cotton candy? I don't know. What do you see? A dragon. What? Where? Okay. There's the tail. And the horns. And the fangs. And the smoke coming out of its mouth. Oh, I see it. It's awesome. Right here, huh? Cave people now. Time to make fire. We make fire. Can I help? You have a big mouth like me, so come on. Blow. Yes. Dude, don't blow it out. Sorry. Sorry. I wanted to do it like a movie. Oh, nice. It's warming up. Wish we had more. I know. Me too. I wish we had a cheeseburger and a milkshake like yesterday. <gasps> yesterday was yesterday. Now that we're out here, we have to do everything ourselves. Right? Okay. But you'll help me if I need it, right? That's what I'm here for. You okay, buddy? Yeah. Feels good to sit down. Sean? Are you mad at me for what happened with Brett? I don't remember everything. It's not your fault. Shit happens. Brett deserved it. Why can't I remember? Ugh, that's weird. Um... Don't worry, dude. You were running around all day. You tired out. It happens. Sean, can I play Mustard Party on your phone? Please? Dude, get real. The battery's almost dead, and we're gonna need it. Come on. You said there's no reception. So what? You'd still kill the battery. Forget it. You just don't want me to beat your score. <laughs> That's right. And you never will. I 
think we earned some serious rest. I could sleep forever. Not on this ground. <sighs> better than freezing out there, right? Way better. Now we have a real fire. And a secure base. You did awesome today, Daniel. Really? Hell yeah. Without you, there's no fellowship. <sighs> That's cool. Why is one? Stay open, son. Sleep tight, bro. Hey, bro, wake up. Sean? Sean? What happened? Where's Dad? It's okay. You, you just had a bad dream. That's all. Sh Sean? Where... Where are we? Right here, in the park. Remember our amazing fire? You fortified our base, so we're perfect. Um, I did. You're right. Go, go back to sleep. You need your rest. But I might have another scary dream. You won't. I'm here. Just, just close your eyes. Thanks, Sean. I'm glad you're here. Good night, Daniel. Look, it's easier now. We're going downhill. We just gotta keep walking. Uh, yeah, that's better. Hey, maybe we'll find a milkshake shop. Ah, oh, yes. The Four Secret Milkshake Factory. <laughs> keep dreaming, dude. Hey, there's something ahead. Yep. Must be the gas station we saw on that sign. Awesome. Hey, come on. I know last night was tough, but tonight will be better. <laughs> kind of creepy, huh? Nah, I think they're cute. We should have one at home. Dad would love it. No way we're carrying a freaking log around, dude. <sighs> okay. Hey, I have a special quest for you. What? You have to go ask that nice family for some food. What? No way, Jose. Why me? Sean, I don't want to do this. You're older. But you're cuter. Even Lila thinks so. You're awesome with people. Yeah, but I'm asking for their food. Like we're homeless or something. Uh, no. We're just foodless. Okay, I'll do it. What do I say? Just be yourself. But don't tell them anything about us. Except, uh, we're camping. And hungry. Okay. Look what they gave me. 
Whoa, you did it. I knew you could do it, man. The mom was nice. The dad was kind of a weenie. But we got chips. You kicked serious ass. And I'm allowed to say that. Hey, come on in. Let's wash a little. Ugh, I'm coming. Nice. Free water for us. Oh, shit. My face. Ah, cool. I know. So wash fast. Ugh, my hands are ice cubes. Okay, you're done. Perfect. We should be able to find our way with it. Go on. It's actually free. Cool. Thanks. It's a real nice map. It's, uh... It's weird how I'm relieved to see all this... Why? ...stuff. Like, dirty stuff? Yeah. It's, uh... Hey, hi. Uh, sorry about my brother. <laughs> uh, don't be. He's awesome. I know what you're thinking. What the hell is this creep looking at? Uh, no, I don't mean... I mean... It's not as weird as it seems, though. These people, they only want to live a normal life. Just... naked. I mean, if they're not harming anyone, who's to say they're wrong? Nobody. Yeah, I agree. Yes, why should we all be the same? Who says so? <laughs> Never mind. I'm getting carried away. Name's Brody. I'm kind of an online traveling journalist. Sean. What's a online traveling journalist? Just a fancy name for someone who drives around in a car, writing about people and stuff. There's a few websites that pay me for these papers since I know how to write. Nice to meet you, man. You traveling with your brother? Yeah, we're... On the road, going south. Good for you. The best way to learn is on the road. The earlier, the better. Well, I'd love to talk and avoid work all day, but I'm already up against the deadline. Safe travels, dudes. Thanks, man. See you around. Yeah. It's a dog. Oh, a puppy! Sure. Super cute doggy. You ready? Is this yours? No, just another stray mutt. Aww, he must be sad. What's his name? That's a she. Oh, right. Oh, can we have the puppy? Please? We need adults to take care of her, not kids. I know. I just thought we could. I'd love to. She's right. We can't take care of a dog right now. Hey, look! Empty table! Uh, let's grab it and check out this map. It's our table now. <laughs> Yep. Let's see. What do we got here? Huh. Is that all we've got? Sorry, you know. Better than nothing, right? Yeah. Where are you guys off to now? Uh... South, I guess. Right on. Pro tip, don't feed the bears. <laughs> See you later. Whoa, that's a big map. <sighs> yeah, hope I can read it. Is this... 
this supposed to be Washington? I don't recognize anything. Yeah, me neither. But we have to be somewhere in there. Hey, I know. We're here. There's a gas station. See? Nah, no way. We were near Mount Rainier yesterday. But it's miles away now. Let me show you where we are, okay? Yeah, okay. We slept at that trout trail thing. Then we walked south for a while. All right. This is it. Are you sure? Yes, it is. It's next to the river we camped by yesterday. Here we are. Okay, so can we go there tonight? Are you kidding? It's way too far. You want to walk a whole week again? Oh, but it looks cool. Hold on. I'll find where we can go. Hey, kids. Looks like you're out camping. Oh, yeah. Just going over trails and stuff. Seems dangerous to be out here all alone. But maybe you're the ones who need to be huh? watched. What do you mean? We're just... These kids should definitely not be out here alone. Oh, no. It's cool. We do this all the time. Then your parents won't mind if we give them a call, right? Uh, no, thanks. We have to go. Nope. You're going inside. Don't make this worse for yourself, kid. Or I will. Uh, excuse us, sir. We were just hiking, I swear. Then let's find out if you're telling the truth. Come on. Uh, but we have to get going. Sean? Uh, it, it's okay. Look, our... Our dad is waiting for us. Okay. You can call him from our phone. Now let's go. Don't touch me! Don't do it, boy! Let go! Uh, Don't touch my brother! Uh. Hi. Officer Buell? Tank. Hank Stamper. Listen. I caught myself a couple of fugitives you might be interested in. Oh, they ain't going anywhere. Don't you worry. Okay, fine. Thank you. What the fuck? Where am I? Oh shit. Daniel. No, no, no. Don't do this to me. Police will get those two straightened out. Are you sure about this, Hank? I don't know. And they'll be off our property and won't be our problem no more. If you say so, then. Well, I'll let you deal with it. Oh, hey there. You finally awake? Sorry I had to secure you. But if you're innocent, don't act guilty. How's your stomach? I'm gonna tell the police you kidnapped me. Nice try. But I know who you are and what you did in Seattle. I saw it in the paper. Maybe I should call ICE to make sure you're a citizen. Fuck you, hillbilly. I'm American. Mm. <sighs> Watch it, punk. Whatever. You're going to jail for this. Pretty sure the local police will vouch for me over a thug like you. Where's my brother? Wish I knew. Little shit took off. I'll find him. Don't worry. If you touch him... You think I'd hurt a little boy? Guess you didn't have any second thoughts about leading him out in the middle of nowhere, though. That's real safe for a little kid. If he's lucky, he won't end up like his criminal big brother. Just let me go. Please. You're the reason we need to build that wall. You hold tight. I'm gonna go get your brother. Come on. It's only plastic. Yeah, that's what I thought. I wonder if I could get more light from it. <sighs> you 
Yes. That's a little better. Sean! Sean! Where are you? Daniel? I'm right here. Are, are you okay? I, I, I think so. That old guy chased me into the woods. But I, I think I lost him. Is he gone? I'm really, really scared. <laughs> hey, Emmanuel. You're doing great. You totally fooled them. Thanks to you, we have a chance of getting out of here. Yeah? Yeah. You think you can open the back door? Of course the fucking keys are all the way over there. Okay, Daniel. I see some keys, but I can't reach them. <sighs> Maybe I can get them if I can pry this pipe off the wall. Can you find some kind of tool out there? I don't know where one is. Find me something sturdy, like a, a screwdriver or a wrench, anything. But where can I find one? Enano, I can't really see much from where I am. There should be some tools nearby. Okay, okay, I'm looking. This is it! You rule, Daniel! Come on. Let's do this. Yes! Good job, bro. this off fast how about these dude you brock did that asshole see you no way i'm invisible yeah you are okay now we gotta get my stuff and go It's okay. You're safe now. You fucking little spick. You and your brother are going to jail for the rest of your life. The hell with you. I told you to leave us alone. Sean, what are you doing? Daniel, come on. We gotta get out of here. Come on. Come on. Wait. Shit! Where are we going? Sean! Watch out! Over there! L let's go! I don't know! Whoa, whoa! What are you doing out here, man? You almost scared the shit out of me! You guys okay? You don't look okay. That asshole at the gas station. You're fucking crazy. He tied me up in his back office. I swear. Dude, say no more. I believe you. Okay. Just crazy. 
crazy out in the woods. Get in, you two. Hurry up before he catches us. having a shitty day. I knew that guy was sketchy. Why did he freak out on us? Good question, my friend. There are a lot of messed up people out there. And you're throwing a little racism. Yeah. I don't think he was down with our last name. Welcome to Redneck Land. I ain't Seattle no more. All those creepy wooden bears should have been a red flag. <laughs> yeah, no kidding. You could call that place the Bear Witch Project. <laughs> yeah, we should have turned back straight away. Well, don't let it phase you, little dude. You're going to meet some amazing people on the road, too. <coughs> What's under the blanket? Come on, I'm not stupid. Daniel. What? We <laughs> saved her. We're heroes. Yeah. Guess we are. <laughs> so, what should her name be? Hey, your dog. Your choice. Oh, cool. Let's see. Um, mm, how about uh, mushroom? She totally looks like a mushroom. Come on. That's not even a name, dude. But I love mushroom. And you said it was my choice. Okay, okay. You win. <laughs> but this one's on you. Ooh, yeah. Thanks, big brother. See, mushroom, you got the best name ever now. <laughs> mushroom. <laughs> nice. Yeah, I feel like I just witnessed history. You're on your way to becoming official road warriors, my dudes. <laughs> Sounds like you've been on the road for a long time. Long, boring story short. I come from a family with money, but... No soul. I took off after school and never looked back. Now I write stories for zines and websites, do podcasts, protests, try to make some positive change. Whatever. Wow. So you're like all political. Everything is political, Sean. Are you like famous or something? <laughs> More like or something. People in my network know who I am and vice versa. Well, that's enough for me. <laughs> Sounds pretty awesome. <laughs> I kind of wish I was famous too. <laughs> hey, no matter what, I just try not to get cynical. Otherwise, uh... I'd be like my family. End of the day, we have to watch out for each other, right? Yeah, you did watch out for us. Thank you. Seriously. <laughs> <laughs> Looks like your brother crashed hard. Oh, good. He always goes right to sleep in cars. Yeah, and feel free to do the same. I won't take it personally. What about you? You okay to drive? Oh yeah. This is my favorite time to drive. Traveling by night is kind of mysterious.
man, look at that. Oregon is like the edge of the world. Hmm. Hey, listen. I know what happened with you guys in Seattle. Do you want to talk about it? I'm a good listener. It's your call. No pressure. I... I don't even know what happened. It was so fast. It was the police. It's their fault. Dano just wanted to play zombie outside. Our shithead neighbor was picking on him. And I got in a fight. So dad came out to help. Somebody called the cops and, and they shot him. They killed my dad in front of me. One second my dad was alive. Then... <laughs> fucking cops. <laughs> hey, it's gonna be alright. Take a deep breath. Listen, I'm really sorry this happened to you, man. Injustice is everywhere, and you're taking the brunt of it right now. But you're gonna be okay, Sean. How? Wish I could go back to my town. Even if it was boring like that one. At least I've had friends, family, a home. I used to bitch about it so much. Now I've got nothing. What is sure is, that's the past. But you can't look back now. You've got each other. And you have to move forward. Why? You may not see it, but what you and your brother have is the most important thing. He needs you. And you need him. I can tell he doesn't know what happened. Sean, at some point, you're gonna have to tell him. I know. I just have to find the right time. Take it from me. The sooner you can address it, the better. Yeah. I'm gonna do it next chance I get. It's just... It's not gonna be easy. So then, what's your plan? Where are you going? Good question. I was thinking... Get out of the country? Fuck it. Go down to Mexico, you know? <laughs> Damn. I thought I was the long haul traveler. Should I go back? To Seattle? Maybe I can try and explain everything. What happened? You should do what you think is best. If going to Mexico seems like the right thing to do, then so be it. You're going in the right direction. You have family there? Maybe. We don't even have family in the U.S. Except for grandparents we don't see anymore. What about your mom? No. No way. She's... out of the picture. But Dad, he always talked about this plot of land he owns in this little coast town, Puerto Lobos. That's a pretty cool name. So it's gotta be great. Okay, so you've still got a long ways to go. We've shot the shit long enough. Time to hit the road.
listen, I'll drop you by a motel in a couple of hours. You guys could use some time to yourselves. Okay, Mushroom, you can chase me. Then, Sean. <laughs> um, no. Come, see if you can catch me. Ow! <laughs> hey, let's play fetch with the pup. Really? Yes. Let me do a test throw first. Cool? Well, okay, but I'm next. Okay, puppy. Go wide. Come on, Mushroom. Get it! Go, Mushroom. <laughs> Good doggy. I think we need a Frisbee. Whoa. What did you find? You just killed a shark! <laughs> you deadly mushroom. Okay, here. <laughs> Watch how fast she'll get the stick. <laughs> you go for it. Just don't throw it too far. I won't. I swear. I mean, I promise. Come on, mushroom. Come on. Look, it's a stick. Fetch! Looks like these two are getting along. It's good to see him like that. Well, I got you that room. Seriously? I... It's only a room. No big deal. Look, I had tough times when I started out. And some strangers saved my life. Thank you. Now's my turn to help someone. It's right there, room 10. On the second floor. Listen. I don't want to freak you out, okay, but you have to be twice as careful now. I know it's easier said than done, but you should get rid of that phone. Really? You can always get a burner later. Trust me. And Sean, talk to Daniel. He deserves Brody, to... you're not leaving, are you? Yes, I am, but... Not until Santa Brody gives you a goodbye gift. Ta-da! I, I mean, ho, ho, ho. And don't you dare argue about it. I'll leave it right here if you do. Okay, you win. Thanks, Brody. Feels good. Here, looks like it's yours now. As always. <laughs> Hold on. I didn't forget you. I've had it since my first road trip. And it's always kept me safe. Now it's yours. Cool. Um, do you think it's okay if she wears it? Like, our official guard dog? <laughs> sure. It's your bandana now. Okay. Time for me to hit the road again. Hey, don't look so sad. You can contact me on my blog, A Tribe Called West. So, you better keep me posted when you can, okay? We will. Thanks again, Brody. <laughs> ah, bro hug. you could stay with us. Me too, kid. <sighs> Sorry, I'll probably think of a better goodbye when I'm on the road, but until then, take care, my dudes. I'm gonna miss him. Me too.
Okay. Time to hit the sack. Don't worry, Mushroom. I got you. Looks like the manager's asleep for the night. Shouldn't have any trouble from them. Do you think it will have Netflix or a jacuzzi? Dude, this is some hotel, not an Airbnb. If we're lucky, it'll have cable and a hot shower. I'm gonna throw you in, cave boy. We can watch TV too. And there's a balcony. Whoa, this is nice and warm. <sighs> this bed is soft. What about this one? Uh, not bad, but too far from the TV. Can I take the one in front of the TV? Huh? Want to play it over rock, paper, scissors? Oh, there's no way you can beat me, but ready? I am so ready to beat you. I won! <laughs> the pet is mine! I knew I'd beat you. See? And I knew you'd brag about it. Don't be salty. It's a fair win. Yeah, it is. I surrender. All right, I'm going to run a bath. We totally reek. Especially you, Pidpen. I wouldn't be so sure, Cave Boy. I'll call you when it's ready. Uh, I'll be right here. Ah, damn. That fucking retinic hit me hard. I hit him harder, though. Fill her up. Sean, it's a condom in my bag. Gross. Hey, don't touch that. Daniel will love this. Hey, Daniel, bath's ready. What? Already? Can I finish this episode first? <laughs> no, man. You smell so bad, there's no time to lose. Hey, you smell too. Oh my god. Whoa. So many bubbles. Try and keep them in the bathtub. I will. Promise. Thanks. And no, the dog is not taking a bath with you. Okay, okay. Don't worry. Time to say goodbye to modern life. Oh, shit. Lily's freaking out. Sean? Hey, Lila. Sean, is that you? Do you... Sean! Oh, God. Are you okay? I guess. I'm... I'm in a motel. With Daniel. <laughs> Shit! Everyone's looking for you here. How about you? Are you okay? No. Everything's fucked up. I'm so worried about you. The cops are talking to everybody at school. This is a nightmare. We're fucked. Sean, don't say that. It will be okay. I miss you so much. Maybe you could come back. You know I wish I could, but we can't take that risk. They're, they're gonna put me in juvie. 
Daniel! Oh shit. You're innocent. And I've got your back. No matter what. No way. I'm not gonna let you get in trouble for me. Stop acting like I'm never gonna see you again. That's bullshit. I'm sorry. I totally hate this. I guess the freaking fighters are disbanded for a while. Shit actually changes, I guess. So, where are you going? Um, we're just going away for now. I'll call you if I get a chance. I miss you, Lila. Sean, wait. <sighs> okay. Wait. Okay, okay. And action. In here right now. What? What did I do? You forgot to open this present. What is this? Socks? Underwear? That's it? Yeah. Pretty cool, huh? That's what I got when I was a kid. Not funny. <laughs> yeah, it is. Dude, check out your face. Wait, what? What? There's another one here. What is it? Daniel, let me help. Looks bigger than underwear. Tell Daniel the truth. Are you kidding me? Remember that song? Come on, dance! Oh, man. We haven't played Guitar Fighter for years. You never beat my score. You played on easy mode. Daniel, uh, come here. We need to talk. Can we get a drink first? I'm thirsty. Right now? You said I could have a coat or something. Okay, I'll get you a soda. But when I come back, we're going to talk. Serious. Fine. What's the big deal? Dad! 
Daniel. Oh my god! Daniel! What's happening? Daniel, calm down! You lied! Dad! Our dad is dead! Why? Calm down, Daniel. Let's just talk, please. You knew Dad was dead! You knew it! Why? Why did you lie to me? I was scared, Daniel. I didn't know what to say. You, you should have told me. I couldn't believe it either. I didn't mean to. I hate you. You're not my brother. Don't say that. I know I messed up everything. We're gonna get through this. Don't touch me. Daniel, please. It's okay. I want Dad. <sighs> Me too. <laughs> you told me we were gonna see Dad. I'm sorry. I just... Don't lie to me ever again. Ever. I promise I won't lie to you again. I promise. I'm serious, Sean. I know. Me too, Danny. <laughs> what are we gonna do without him? Shh. It's gonna be okay. It's gonna be okay. Sean. Am I a monster? Nothing is wrong with you. You're different. <sighs> okay. What are we gonna do now? I was thinking... Maybe we could go to Puerto Lobos. Where Dad grew up, you know? Yeah, I guess. It'll be fine, Daniel. There's nothing we can't do. As long as we're together. Can you tell me a story, like he did? I'm not as good as him. He used to tell me bedtime stories too. Once upon a time, in a wild, wild world, Two wolf brothers living in their home there with their papa wolf. They all lived happily together. But, but one day, hunters took their dad away. Forever. So now the brothers were alone. And they had to find a new home. They started a journey through the great big
All right. Come on, man. Focus. Okay. Trust me. You can do it. 